Hey guys, how's it going? Um, I've got a little bit of a different setup in here today. This is my bedroom. You're gonna have to excuse anything that's behind me. I'm sure it looks a hot mess, but I'm on my new vanity and it's got good lighting. So I figured I'm just gonna do it here. So anyway, the video today is my review on the dollar store products that I purchased the other day. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight products. I hope I got all of them. I'm actually not sure if I did or not, but I think, I think I got all of them. I didn't organize them. I'm so dumb. But I'm going to try and do this in order of things I really didn't like to things that I loved. Which is going to be kind of hard because some of the things that I like go with the things, I don't know. Anyway, let me just get started. The first thing is this e.l.f. Professional Total Face Brush. It is red, it is fluffy, it is the shittiest brush on earth. It is, trust me. This thing, I mean, I guess if you wanted something for like a highlighter, I like my highlighter brush to be kind of flimsy. I have an Arbonne brush that I use for that. But this one is so big and fluffy that I don't think that you could actually use it as a highlighter brush. It's just kind of not so good. So I have like not used this. It's shedding terrible. Don't buy this. Um, my next thing, I'm going to do these together, but these are actually a hate and a love. So these are the e.l.f. HD blushes. This is the color headliner. I'm going to try and do like a swatch hair for you. All right, that's what it looks like when it comes out. And then when you blend it in, if you don't blend it a lot, oh no, I don't know if I can even, okay, maybe we'll just do it from back here. If you can see that but it's like a nice pinky it's a pretty pink color so this one I actually really like and I've used this one this one is called showstopper and this one is not meant for anyone with pale skin I can tell you that I'm trying to get as little as possible because it's just really uh, and I have a really hard time blending it too I can't even like get it I can't even get it to blend can you see that there's like a line still there oh bad. So this is way, 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 way too dark for me. I'm going to keep it and possibly use it at some point in the future, but really I don't like this one. But this one is actually really pretty, so I'm going to keep that. Um, let's see. I'm just going to do this one because I actually haven't used this. This is a Milani eye pencil in white. Can't really go wrong with white. It's white. I haven't done anything with it yet, but... The only thing I think I won't like is that it is kind of hard. I hate using eyeliners now that are a pencil and they're not like a nice soft creamy one. They just, they hurt my eyes. <laughs> the next thing I have is this Milani Glossy Tubes Ultra Lip Shine. So this, it comes in an apple care that looks like this. And it's a squeeze. And the problem I had with it when I first opened it was it comes out and it's like, doesn't have like you actually have to keep pushing to get the color to come out but it ends up being kind of like a like a light red if you can if you will so I actually had to to squeeze the tube quite a bit like massage it to get everything to go together because it had separated and this is the color if you're wondering is number 10 hot kiss so that one's okay all right so this one this is the Pink Me Color Lip Shine from, I think that this company is called Endrogen. And the tube looks like this. And you would think that this is going to be pink. And I'm not even going to complain. Because look, it, it's just, it's like clear. And it comes out clear. And I assumed, I guess, that it was going to be pink. And I was kind of disappointed that it wasn't. But this has actually been one of my favorite purchases. Because it's just a nice clear lip gloss. It's fabulous. This is the e.l.f. Jumbo Stick, Jumbo Lip Gloss Stick in the color Flirty and Girly. Find you a swatch. And it looks like that. The color is pretty. The problem I have with it is it is full of glitter. I don't know if you can see, maybe a little bit. It's just very glittery and I'm not really sure I want that much glitter on my mouth. So, okay. 
I'm not really sure why I saved this for last. This is gonna be number one. Number one shit. Sorry, I shouldn't swear. Okay, this is the e.l.f. Eye Enhancing Mascara in the color Black Diamond. And when I first opened this, I wasn't impressed. The, the wand is actually really cool. But, I don't know if other people do this, but I like to like swatch it a little bit <laughs> and see how much color comes out. And it was like dry when I opened it. But I've given it a chance. I've, I'm actually wearing it today. It's not great. But it's not actually nearly as bad as I thought it was. I thought that this was going to be the worst mascara ever. At first, I didn't feel like anything was coming out. I felt like it was just a dried up tube of mascara. I'm like, how can you even sell this? Are you selling the plastic for a dollar? I'm not really sure. There's no product. But there is. There is product in here. So, I mean, it's fine. I actually put two coats of this on today. And it's okay. It's not terrible. It's not great. It's somewhere in the middle. But I have been using it, so I think out of all the things, I did try and use the, the Milani on Monday, and I have been using this lip gloss, but I think this is actually probably my favorite thing. The show, Showstopper? No, Headliner. This one is Headliner. The HD blush. And it's the first cream blush that I've ever had, so it's kind of exciting. So there you have it. Just don't buy this brush. This brush is terrible. This is like the worst brush on earth. I'm not sure why I even bought it. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. Um, as I said, my vanity is all set up now. I am hoping to do a vanity tour really, really soon. I'm actually waiting for the epoxy to dry completely. It's still a little bit tacky, so I can't put anything on the counter permanently. Anyway, so we're going to do a vanity tour pretty soon because I'm really excited. And, and I'm going to do a Holt Look Haul video on everything I purchased from Holt Look. I've had a little bit of a shopping addiction lately. I don't know if you know what Holt Look is, but if you don't, you should check it out. You can find discounted stuff from bags, shoes, you know, um, kids clothes, adult clothes, beauty products, everything. And I've just been buying crazy amounts of high-end makeup because I have an addiction. So, Videos will be coming soon. I still need to post my empties video. Sorry I haven't got around to that. Anyway, thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!